Guys, we have a serious, serious problem. So I'm just getting back into the hardcore world, right? And um, I look outside and there, there's pillagers. There, there's, there's pillagers out here and I, I, I'm gonna get shot. It doesn't get any more intense than this. Hopefully you guys are just passing through and you, and you don't have to, you don't have to worry about me yet at all, please. I did nothing to you. I did nothing to you. Can you just please pass by so I don't have to die? Well, considering the sun is going to go down soon, let's start off this episode and uh, let's just go back inside and mind our own business. And in that way, we will get on to uh, day number eight in the hardcore world. Well, ultra hardcore world. <laughs> Ah, good morning on day number eight of the ultra hardcore world. Let's get after it. I have so much planned for this next week. So, oh, I'm just excited to get into it. Okay, really? Bruh. Really? You, you are left behind. Your whole pack left. They left you behind and you're just, you're just continually to stare at me. And uh, I, don't, I don't like it. You have left me no choice but to kill you. I'm going to come over there and I'm, I'm going to kill you. I'm dying. <laughs> Oh, he's drawn back. Oh, he is drawn back. And he, he actually hit me. He hit me. He hit me. How the heck? How, how is he hitting me? How is he hitting me? I'm, I'm blocked. I'm currently blocking and using my shield. How is that possible? Okay. Well, uh, we're just, we're, we're going to run away from this little guy. We are definitely going to run away, uh, from this guy. I don't, I don't know how that is impossible. Maybe if I run super far away, he'll, uh, he'll move or maybe despawn. <laughs> yeah. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what to do in this situation. One hour later. Okay. Well, uh, running away seemed to do something because now he's gone. <laughs> And I can't find him, which makes it a little bit, a little bit more terrifying, actually. Well, now that we're not fully distracted by those pillagers, let's get on to what we're actually going to be doing during this week. So for one, um, yeah, this lava pool, I just realized would be perfect for another portal. So we're going to be making another portal, maybe hop in it just a little bit, but I have a feeling that we might die if we do that. Next up, I definitely want to work more on our cliffside house, make that, you know, absolutely amazing. Get some rooms going, uh, get some more building going, and that, that's definitely going to be a need uh, here in the second week. And then last and certainly not least, we definitely need to go head back down into the mines and uh, get armored up even more and uh, get some more golds because, uh, well, look at that. We already took damage in this earlier part of the episode. We're going to need more food. Well, I have no specific order I want to do this in, so I think I'm just going to head down to the mines and start grinding. So let's go, baby. Oh, diamonds, where are you? I don't know if I need you more or I need the gold more, but I need both of you. So you better show up today. Oh, hello, Redstone. Nice to see you once again. I feel like that's the only thing I come across down here. Okay, that would have been really bad to fall into. Let's do, okay, yep, nope. Nope, nope we are, we're just gonna, you know, we're not even gonna collect that iron. We're just gonna, you know, backtrack and not fall into the lava. Also, I got a comment that I should eat more. So look, look at this, there we go. I'm dedicating this whole video to just making sure my hunger bar is completely full. So there you go. So if that direction doesn't work, let's go this way. I can't remember. Nope. This is this is the this is that scary ravine with the other lava. Okay. Nope. We're gonna backtrack that. Fill that up, and uh, we're just gonna go another way. Yep. Right. Right here. Right here in the middle of this wall. It, that that should be as good as ever. Oh great! I'm digging. I'm digging into a cave. Uh, hello, cave. Oh my gosh. Uh, nope. Gonna block that off. Why, why? Why am I getting so? I'm getting such bad luck. Okay, getting some more lapis. That's always good. Hey, hey, remember what we say. Where there's lapis, there's diamonds. Wait, I don't, well, I don't know if that was a saying, but there's going to be diamonds. I, I promise you. Few moments later. <gasps> oh my gosh. There we go, baby. Our first diamonds of the episode. And I found this lapis like right here. So look at that. Oh my gosh, it always works out. Oh, where, where this lapis, there's diamonds. Now, how many diamonds are there gonna be? Are we gonna get super lucky? Let's see. Get out of my inventory ink set. Four, five, six. Oh, there we go, baby. We got six diamonds already. Let's go. Now, if we could only find a little bit more gold, this trip will be a complete success because we definitely have have to heal back those hearts that we lost right in the beginning of the episode. Okay, so we're coming up on the end of our little mining run, 
and um, I see a zombie that's gonna come right for us. And I also see a lot of other creatures, but there's gold right there. So we gotta get the gold. Oh, hello, Mr. Zombie Man. You are not going to do any damage to me. I won't even allow it. Nope, not even gonna allow it. All right, so the mission is we have to crawl all the way under here and we have to get that gold. We had to get that gold and then we can call this little mining trip a success. Also, I hear a witch. Please, witch, get away. Hello, gold. Thank you. I just need you. I need I need all of you. Oh, gosh. Okay, wait. Things can drop on me. Things can drop on me. Get out of here, granite. I got to get the gold. It's more important. Okay, let's make a run. Let's make a run for it. There we go. This was a complete success. We have a ton of diamonds. We got six diamonds. We got 46 iron, a ton of redstone, and gold. So we can make another golden apple and heal up a little bit. So I'll see you guys back at the house. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you that it is not nighttime. Oh my gosh. Well, that mining trip took longer than I thought. And so I think today, yes, it is day number 10. We spent all of day nine inside of the mines. Let's get some of these ores smelting. So we are slowly but surely getting our diamond armor. So I think we should go ahead and make a helmet. Yep, we're gonna slowly replace it. So we're gonna make a diamond helmet. Boom, there we go, guys. Slowly but surely upgrading. And there we go, half diamond arbor already. Let's go. Already 10 days in and we're looking pretty good. But next up, we're getting another portal going. Oh yeah. Now, instead of getting all fancy with it, we already got the diamond pickaxe and we got the water bucket. So, you know what? Might as well. I was going to make it, you know, uh, all, all fancy, you know, and, and and make it so I don't have to, you know, actually destroy the obsidian. But uh, nope, I'm not doing that. Bruh. Not doing that. I'm just going to do the old classic way and pour water straight over the lava. There we go, baby. I hope. All those pillagers are gone and don't hurt me while I'm doing this. Here comes the most boring 10 minutes of my entire life destroying all this obsidian. This is what I get for doing it the old fashioned way. Oh gosh, the sun is going down. It's a race against time. I only have a few more blocks to go, but I might just have to go sleep real quick and come right back outside because I don't want any mobs to spawn. Okay, well, we got, we got 13. We got 13. I'm only going to need one more before uh, we're, we're good to go. So hold on one second. I'm going to go sleep. I'll be right back. Boom. There we go. 14. Mission accomplished. So it is currently day number 11, and we still have a ton to do, baby. So I think today we are going to really start to grind on our base, and we're going to actually start to dig this thing out and make it a little bit more of a home because this, this this is just this is just disgusting. This this this, is, this looks horrible. Okay, bed, you got to go. You, you, you got to move. I'm so sorry. There we go. Now it's more cleared out, except I'm going to leave this chest because I don't want to move all this stuff right now. I'm a little lazy, but... Um, um, this is the plan I want. So listen up. Okay, so after about a half of day to a full day of just kind of designing things out, this is what I came up with. A big open room where we can put stuff, um, you know, off to the size, maybe some armories or something, I don't know. Um, and then you have these staircases off to each side leading up to different parts of the house um, on either side, which I love. And then this is where we're gonna go down actually into this like giant storage room, giant potion room, something. But this is kind of my idea for what I want to do and I think it's gonna look absolutely amazing so I guess all that's left is you know kind of figuring some things out kind of getting some flooring down some siding down uh, delete all this cobble it's because it's, it's, it's not gonna be all stone and uh, well uh, yeah here we go The sun is coming up on day number 13 and I am almost done. One, well, hold on, hold on one second, son. So I know I always get carried away with all of my building like every single other video I've ever made, but guys, 
hear me out. This one is going to be a cool build. So if we hop in these front doors, this is what it is looking like. Now, this is going to be my plan. I want this entry room to be all about function. Like if you are running from the outside and you need to get some things done, you need to get some things smelted. You got all of these walls to just do all of your smelting. You can hit up the crafting station if you need to. And then eventually we can get anvils. We can put them all around here. We can have, um, you know, so much more. This is just the very beginning and this is just the very entry room. So I hope you like the design. I think it's gonna work really well. I like how it looks like the wood is actually holding up a lot of the structure and uh yeah i just i'm just super happy with how this turned out it took me the whole night and part of today but uh i think it works so now that we got that done i want to do some more exploring i feel like we haven't done enough exploring in this week so far nope. so i'm gonna put all my stuff away um and we're gonna go exploring and to start the exploring off we're gonna make another amazing golden apple Okay, enough with all the glorified music. Let's just eat this thing. There we go. We are restoring some of those hearts. Okay. No, wait. What? Why, why, why am I Why am I now? Wait, why, why did I go to a heart and a half now? Last time it only got me up to, to like only two hearts left. What the heck? Hopefully I remember how to get home, but goodbye home. Hopefully I do not get lost. And let's head across this desert. Let's see if we can't find, um, you know, maybe a little village or something like that. This has got me thinking I definitely am going to want a horse. I really want a horse to explore this world. Okay, you know what? That I, why not even mention it now? That's all I can think of. Oh, hello, Mr. Horsey. I want to saddle so bad. I would tame you if I could. Oh my gosh. That's where all the pillagers were coming from. I set up base right next to a pillager outpost. Are you kidding me right now? I am going to absolutely completely destroy that villager outpost. Oh, mark my words. Mark my words. It is going to happen. That outpost is going to get burned to the ground. It's always a good thing. I should always collect up sugar cane while I can. I completely forgot about that. Oh, oh, hello, Mr. Desert Temple. Oh, I am completely going to raid you right now. Yeah, yep. I'm going to raid you, but we have made our way on the backside of this uh, villager outpost now, and the sun is going down, but luckily I brought my bed nice. so we can sleep through it so we don't even have to worry about that right now nope please be something good inside and I I hopefully oh no 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 there's mobs in there no there's mobs in there run away run away run away Mr. Skeleton I see you in there and I know you're wanting to blow me up oh and there's a creeper in there okay this is gonna be very dangerous boys I am just gonna make a makeshift little shelter bed thing right here we are gonna sleep this night away and then we are we're gonna raid that thing Oh, hello. Is, it, is anyone out there to shoot at me? Hello? Well, it is currently day number 14, the very end of week number two in this ultra hardcore world. And I'm having so much fun. You guys have no idea. Okay, and I just hopped off that and took damage. That's always good. Now back to getting inside of this thing in here. I know that yeah, look at that. I see I see you, Mr. Creeper. You're hiding behind there. Come over here so you don't blow me up, and then let's let's come over here. Oh, there you are. There you are. If you're gonna blow up, blow out in the wide open and definitely just don't don't hurt me while you're doing it, okay? And there we go. Yep, you're no match for me. Oh, but the Mr. Skeleton, Mr. Skeleton Man's coming after me. Oh, he's coming after me fast. Okay, there we go. There we go. Boom. Yep, get out of here. No, thank you. You better be worth it, treasure. That's all I'm saying. You better be worth it. Okay, let's see what we got in our first chest. And nothing helpful. Nothing helpful. I mean, oh, we got a saddle. Oh my gosh, guys. We got a saddle. I didn't think anything in there until i saw that in the top corner and i was like oh my gosh look at that we can now get a horse boys oh and a gold and a golden apple oh my gosh and some nice horse armor let's go baby okay okay some more gold and another golden apple there we go now this last chest better be the greatest thing in the world because we've had a lot of luck on these last three. Oh my gosh we got diamond horse armor and five more gold are you kidding me this desert temple has been absolutely insane while we're at it let's just go ahead and take all this tnt because you know what might as well we never know what we're gonna do with it later on okay well that was an absolute one 
thousand percent success like that was absolutely amazing oh come here little horsies one of you is gonna be mine so which one of you guys want to be my horse is it you do you want to be my horse let's see let's see okay you know what it always takes a couple of tries with you little guys oh <gasps> there we go baby friends forever oh yeah let's slap that horse armor on you and let's slap that saddle oh my gosh guys look at us we are riding in a diamond horse armored horse with diamond armor this is absolutely amazing so i am just gonna make my way home now i think that was an absolute amazing way to end the week we got two golden apples we got 15 gold we got nine tnt we got a horse and we got diamond horse armor. Like that was absolutely everything that I could ask for. Comment down below your best horse name. I'd love to hear it. What should I name this little guy? Now my house really isn't horse accessible. It's not that horse friendly, but there we go, boys. Let's see if we can actually get into the house. Can we actually make our way into the house? Oh, we can, there we go. I promise next episode will be more adventurous. We'll make that nether portal and we'll maybe, just maybe go adventuring inside of it. It's gonna be amazing. But as always, my name is Ben. Also known as Big Spash, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.